what is this? Dude, I blew zero. Call that lead. Chill, what, what happens here? What is this on my views? Well, yes, we're both the same, yo. Is this good? Yeah, I wanted, I wanted the rainbow one. An Iowa teenager is suing his hometown after he says he was arrested for an OWI while he was completely sober. You know, when he accused me of being drunk, that's when I got really confident because I knew it was going to go one way and it was going to go my way. 19-year-old Taven Galanakis is a freshman at William Penn University, where he's a wide receiver for the school's football team. But on the weekend of August 28th last year, he was about an hour north in his hometown of Newton, Iowa. Yeah, so I was coming home from one of my friends' house. Um, we were just watching some football, and I left around, like, I think it was 1130, if I can remember right. And I had a headlight out, so my idea was rain, it was cloudy and all of that, really dark. So I used my brights. Galanakis says one of his headlights was out, so he put on his brights within city limits. That's when Newton police officer Nathan Winters pulled him over. That's it. Hi there. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good. My name is Officer Winters with the Newton Police Department. The reason I pulled you over is because you have your bright lights on. Yeah, I have, a, I have a headlight out, so I just keep my brights on. Okay, well that's not legal. Oh, is it? No. Yeah, I turn when a car when a car comes by, I turn them off. But like, when well, you didn't with me. Oh, you weren't close enough though. You were like, you were, close you're close Yeah, you were a while back. That's oh, the high beams. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. And you're that. not supposed to have your brights on in the street. Chai, isn't high beams oh, bad oh, during oh, rain? Oh, you got it... your license, registration, insurance, yeah, with you? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, it pulled me over. So then once he pulled me over, he began to be really hostile. Yeah, because it lowers visibility. And I could tell, by the way, like right when he got to my window, just asking me if I had anything to drink right away. You know? So it was just one of those things I was like, it's going to be like that. So, you know, I try to keep my calm, keep my cool. Where are you coming from? Prince house. Okay. Anything to drink over there? Nope. Uh huh? I didn't hear what you said. One of these. Need one of these right here. Yeah, I mean that's a good start. That's the registration. Body camera video shows Galanakis give Officer Winters his license, registration, and insurance information. Wait, that's fine until now. After that, he's asked to get. Wait, guys, I don't think anybody's in the wrong so far. I think asking is fine. Out of the vehicle. All right, that'll work. I'm gonna have you hop out with me, okay? Cool. Watching? Oh, yeah, off. but you said it. Somebody said this is uh, weird. Nothing is weird so far, though. Do me a favor, put your gun. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Sit there again. All right, all right. I'm gonna have you hop out with me, okay? Cool. Car right, on or off? Uh, you can probably leave the car off. Do me a favor, put your gum on the on your dash there. Put my gum on my dash. Yeah. Officer Winters then asks Galanakis okay, whether he has any now. weapons or drugs on him. We're gonna go back here, okay? Cool. You don't have anything on you? No bombs, guns, drugs? No bombs or no drugs. Okay, let's go back here. After that, the officer leads Galanakis into the front seat of his squad car. How much have you had to drink tonight? Bombs? None. Chat. Chat. Yeah. Chat. Believe it or not, okay, guys, I, I, if they say bombs, watch a video last, if you watched a video last time, the cop says, any bombs? And you know what? They did. They had a bunch of bombs in their car. Do you remember that? The video? With a cop that, yo, they any bombs? We're, we're, we're all we're laughing. And then they had bombs. What do you mean, none? I had nothing to drink. Okay. The Walmart why one, yeah. Why would you, uh, why would your eyes be watery and bloodshot? Do you want to blow me real quick? No, I don't want to blow you. Well, I told him that. I said, hey, blow me. And then he turned into <laughs> something sexual right after that. So, at that point, I know who I'm talking to. You know, he's not really professional. Galanakis tells Lawn Crime Network he wanted to take a breathalyzer exam right away because he didn't have anything to drink. You know, when he accused me of being drunk, that's when I got really confident because I knew it was going to go one way and it was going to go my way. So I confidently said, hey, let's, let's take that breathalyzer test. And On the body camera video, Galanakis can be heard repeatedly asking to take a breathalyzer test. Let's do the breath now. Two for two. Let's make, and, and make sure. Well, me too, man. Give me a little blow. I will. Blow zeros. I will here in a minute. Oh, we'll the blow, let's blow real chest. quick. Stop doing all these damn tests. Let's blow. Let's get to business. But first, Officer Winters asks Galanakis to perform a series of field sobriety tests. Okay. Can you see my finger clearly? Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. Okay. I love the drill. 
All right, so I want you to put your left foot on the line, okay? Take your right foot, put it in front of your left foot with the heel of your right foot touching the toe of your left foot just like this, okay? But when Galanakis performs a walking test, Officer Winters can be heard saying he's not following directions. Uh, seems fine to me. So you want to get to nine? Okay, so that's how you alternate. do it. Uh, take a series of small steps. Stop walking. Thirteen steps. Improper turn. How many steps did I say to take? Like eight or nine. Oh, I said nine. Fuck Why don't you take fourteen off. and then fifteen. Oh. I thought you were going to tell me when to turn. Dude, even, if, even if you make one mistake in, in the counting, yo, errors happen. If you don't, you don't remember to do something, that's fine. That's why, that's why there's like five tests or four or whatever, because it's the whole scope of the whole thing that matters. You can make a mistake or two, it's fine. Nobody gives a fuck. You need to count your steps out loud. And I, I try to recall directions like, hey, can you tell me again? And you want to state them clearly. So I try my best. And he said I took one extra step when on the nine step test. He said I took one extra step. And I guess that's how he determined if I was drunk or high. Galanakis admits he may have slipped up on the tests because he was nervous at the time. Yeah, no shit. Maybe, why they're not gonna maybe I slurred my words, you know, a little bit because I was nervous. But yeah, that's just basic nerves, you know what I'm saying? All right, during this, keep your arms down your side. Why are you shaking so much? It's freezing, man. Look at you. You got all these clothes on and I got shorts on and it's raining. And you false accusing me, so of course I'm going to be a little nervous. Yeah, you got nothing to say. After this, Galanakis is asked to perform multiple other field sobriety tests. Oh, I see. Oh, 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 this is the classic, like, cop is wrong. Then the guy belittles them. And believe it or not, by logic, you're allowed to. Okay. Um, you're allowed. And ego hurt, so he does everything in his power to just be a cuck lord. Field sobriety tests. L. Is that a L. Yep. How did I tell you to count? It's being a little shit. It doesn't matter. Believe it or not, the cops can they kind of like work for the public, for the safety of the public, right? If this guy is drunk, he's he is a threat, right, to other people, right? So his job would be to get him off the road. But now he's not a threat, right? So this guy could be the most actual dog shit person out there, and he could be literally insulting him back to back. It still doesn't matter. He's not a threat to other people. His job is to. Make the things safe. Is he doing that? Absolutely not. So it doesn't, doesn't, give, it doesn't matter. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. I honestly forgot how you told me, but. What do you shut the fuck up? Doing this pretty well. You, so, you, are, you are by law allowed to fucking be, be, be little and say some, say some dumb shit. Well, of course, you, you shouldn't, but still. So right. I'm not uh, Just time. follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only and don't move your head, okay? Gotcha. After telling Galanakis he's likely impaired, you're showing some very strong signs of impairment. No, he, no, he isn't. Am I? Officer Winters finally performs a breathalyzer test. All right, what I want you to do is make a tight seal around this and blow outwards like you're blowing up a balloon. Okay. Cool. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay, you can relax. Um, so I'm gonna read you Miranda. Okay. When's the, right now? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. While Officer Winters does not tell Galanakis the results of the test, the zeros can be seen on the body camera video. After that, he asks Galanakis when the last time he smoked weed was. When's the last time he smoked weed? I do not remember that. Tonight? Oh. Okay, well, I, was, no I, weed tonight, I think right? it's tonight. I've had no weed tonight. What? Why do you think it's tonight? Why do you think it's tonight? Chat. I blew the zero. Chat. Great answer. Not a bad. Not a bad answer. Great answer. You should have. First sentence is good. Second sentence is a little bit bad, right? But why? Why is it not a bad answer? Because because let's say he's just saying the truth, right? He said, "Oh, you did a month ago," and like, "Yo, dude, we found some things that you know, dude, is actually a week ago." Well, then he lied to the police, and then he's incriminated, right? He says he doesn't remember. You're chilling. Right, it's more more after. That, that, that's fine. Zeros. What? Why do you think it's tonight? Why do you think I smoke? I blew zero. So now you're trying to think I smoke weed. That's what's going on. You can't do that, man. You really can't do Absolutely that. Absolutely, I can. Is he allowed to do that? Yes, he is. So I blow zeros and you smoke drugs, man.
Officer Winters again tells Galanakis he shows signs of being impaired. I would, my, during my field sobriety, I, it is indicative of impairment. So let's, let's, let's be honest. I'm being honest. You smoke like some I, weed at your friend's house? No. You hit a pin? Nope. Okay, why is, your field, why is your field sobriety so poor? What? Why is your field sobriety so poor? And why are you so lethargic and slow moving and speaking what? slurred speech? What? And your eyes are watery speech. and your eyes are bloodshot. You know why they're watery? Practice room rain right now, dumbass. Galanakis tells the officer he doesn't smoke because he's on the college football team. No weed. I don't smoke weed. I play college football. I told you that. Chat, chat, I chat. How does weed affect the field sobriety test? Does it? At all? Does the science say that if you smoke weed, you would do bad on the impairment test? It does? I have no idea. I'm asking you. Someone's asking a question. I'm asking you. No, Today's barely. Saturday. Okay. Don't smoke weed. Today's Saturday. Okay. It's 30 days. We stay on your for 30 days. So if I did a test next week, I'd be off the football team. Body camera video then shows Officer Winters speaking with another officer, saying Galanakis hesitated when answering about smoking. I said, when's the last time you smoked weed? And he hesitated for a long period of time and said, I honestly can't remember. That is not when the... Officer Winters comes back out of his squad car. He places Galanakis under arrest. Turn the wait. Turn the back. She, wait, she read him his rights to, to, to stay silent and he's mad that the response was delayed. How does it make any sense at all? Arrest. Turn the wait. Turn the back. Right now, you're being placed under arrest for operating while intoxicated, okay? I'm not intoxicated. Sir, I'm not intoxicated. Yeah, I blew zeros. So, I ended up getting put in cuffs because I blew zeros, and I get taken back to the department, and at that point, you know, it's, it's real life. It's not a prank. Galanakis is taken to the Newton Police Department, where he continues to maintain his sobriety. Hey, sir. Hello. I didn't do anything wrong. What? He made, he made me blow. I blew zeros. Now he's keeping me on drugs. A drug recognition expert later determined Galanakis was not intoxicated at the time he was pulled over. Galanakis requested the body camera video after his arrest and decided to post it to social media. Galanakis's edited body camera <laughs> no video box. now has more than 1 million views on YouTube. When I posted the video on, to Facebook and all of that, the whole town was telling me about their similar you know, experiences and all that. And if, if I'm seeing all these comments about people saying they're dealing with the same thing from the same police department, we, we got some, we got a mess to clean up. And I feel like that's my job. With the exposure I got, I got to clean up the mess. And I'm okay with doing that. Well, with the publicity of my video got, I really hope, you know, it upbrings the corruption in Newton and other towns that have this, like similar issues. But yeah, with the exposure of the video, I think it should just show them, like, hey, we need to do something better. You know, because what they're doing is not right. Galanakis tells Law & Crime Network he decided to pursue legal action For after sure. an outpouring of support Ch online. Ch you know what sucks, guys? I don't really know how this works that much, but I'm, you guys, a lot of people can't even afford to do this. So if, if this happened to them, there's nothing they can do about it, which really sucks, which really makes them so that they'll do that like, like more often and whatnot, right? Because even it, what? Let me go to market. Bro, bro, yeah, I get it. it, it some people will do it. I get it. I understand how that works, but at the same time, at the same time, there's a lot of reasons to be discouraged to, to, to not to not pursue at this point. Um, the vast majority of people have will have more reasons not to go through with it because of a, various reasons. I really started getting inboxes on Facebook, it's and annoying. Instagram, and all of that. Not from one. Dude, you're a citizen. You shouldn't have to fucking do this shit. We'll do the job right. It's not your job to fucking do this shit. It's not, man. They should be able to be self-regulated, these fucking systems, man. What are you talking man? Look, are you high? But from people that wanted me to uh, talk to their lawyer. So it was just like maybe the lawyer's family members reached out to me saying, hey, I know a really good lawyer, blah, blah, blah. Galanakis filed a lawsuit in U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Iowa against the city of Newton and its police department. The court documents allege Galanakis' civil rights were violated and oh that my the God. was guilty of false arrest. Long oh my god. Chat, what happens chat, if somebody robs a house and starts running uh, behind the defenses? How does this guy follow? Well, I, I don't want to be rude. I just, uh, guys, uh, guys, I'm not even being rude, okay? I just feel like overall, shouldn't there be like certain physical standards um, to maintain in the police? 
Otherwise, you're kind of like a liability, aren't you not? Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm gonna say, Zoo, I'm not a police, I'm a streamer. My heart is clogged up to the fucking wazoo, man. Finish the video? Oh, sorry. False arrest. Long Crime Network reached out to the Newton Police Department for an interview, but we're told they have no oh, it's a tank build. at okay. this time. Officer Nathan Winters is still employed with the department. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Oh my god, I just realized that. Wait, wait, what did you say? Police department.